Alright, before we get started, let's talk about something important. Disclosure. Earlier this month, Nintendo of Canada invited me to a media event in... Well, Canada. Said event included trying out a demo for the latest entry in the Fire Emblem series and being given a shirt related to the game. That's all I did, let's move on to the good stuff. Now, bear in mind that this is a preview, not a review, based on a demo for two of the three games under the name Fire Emblem Fates. I want to make this especially clear since, while I plan on covering all three games, it's gonna take a while to review each one, along with a few other videos that I plan on doing later this month. Also, apologies if, during any of the footage, it seems like I'm constantly moving around. The tripod I bought was too small to film the game standing, so the position I was in when playing both was... awkward to say the least. Let's begin with the demo for Birthright, and... Not a good start! I'll probably touch upon this more come review time, needless to say it's not exactly a pleasant sight for one sister to greet them with such a suggestive tone, let alone for the game to objectify her in such a shameless manner. Time and place, fates! Anyway, the demo of Birthright takes place in Chapter 13, where Camilla reunites with Korn, only for her to try killing him when he refuses to return to her side. This leads into the main mission, which is to route all enemies on the map. Birthright is said to be more like Awakening than the other two routes, and it definitely shows in this chapter, as it takes a more simplistic approach to map design. By no means bad, it's certainly enjoyable. It is a fairly standard route map, whose only noteworthy aspect being how many places there are to visit. The transitions from map to battle were certainly neat to see in action, especially with the amount of detail given to the background. It's hard to say much about the controversial removal of weapon durability based on the demo, namely due to the abundance of weapons on hand. It was brief, but it gave good feel as to how the new troops will handle in this entry, and that the weapons and classes seem to differ from previous entries more by aesthetic than actual mechanical differences. Mages this time summon Oxen instead of Wind and Thunder, Swords this time around being Katana, etc. Hopefully the skills for promoted classes will help flesh out those both old and new over the course of the campaign. Otherwise, more of Awakening isn't a bad thing, especially with the changes made to the pair-up system. Moving on to the demo for Chapter 10 of Conquest, the scenario is a bit more interesting, with the siege brought about by your brother that requires you to hold the line for several turns. There's far less troops to choose from compared to Birthright's demo, which might be due to it taking place earlier in the campaign, though you do get reinforcements as time goes by, one of whom might look awfully familiar to those who played Awakening. Here, the changes to older classes and the tools brought by new troop types are a bit more noticeable, with Camilla's Modeling Knight Lunge Command functioning like an offensive condo, that being the ability where a mounted unit can move after they've performed an action, albeit this time it's predetermined and requires the opponent to be finished off. It works well for knocking out a foe weak on health while blocking any others from coming through, given that the map design is based on holding up the enemy from getting past the blockade, though it doesn't make it a complete cakewalk. This was a surprisingly difficult map, with the barricades only holding back an enemy's potential havoc for a few turns, a twist to the returning ballista weapon, which can outstrike multiple enemies at once, though doesn't seem to be able to actually kill anything, just severely wound them and leave them with one health point like the mercy skill from Radiant Dawn, making the onslaught of foes only slightly more manageable. All in all, it's refreshing to see a map design more around defending than attacking, let alone one as challenging as this. Based on the two demos, Conquest is the clear winner, at least in terms of map design. Whether the full game for either version delivers, or if it's best wait for the third time to be the charm, has yet to be seen, but based on what I played, the demo for both lifted a lot of worries that I had for these two titles. That's all for now folks, tune in on February 20th for the channel's 4th year anniversary. Until next time, game on my friends!